Kia ora koutou, kei a whakatū Aotearoa ahau, ngā mihi o te marama. Greetings from Nelson, New Zealand and welcome to this video about the new moon in Virgo coming up on Tuesday the 7th of September. The new moon is when the sun and moon come together in the sky. And you won't be able to see the moon at that time because it's outshone by the sun, but maybe on Tuesday around about 10 minutes to 1, you'll look up at the sky and you'll know that that is new moon at that time and that the segment of the sky is Virgo, according to the astrological system I use. So you might be a sun Virgo person or a rising sign Virgo or a moon sign Virgo person. Maybe you're not, but whatever, you will still have Virgo somewhere in your chart. And that means that there's Virgo energy in some part of your life. So this will affect all of us. So what is the energy of Virgo? First, we will look at the ruling planet, which is Mercury. So the Mercury energy of Virgo means that there's a lot of intelligence, the ability to discern and analyse and pay attention to detail. The element that rules Virgo is Earth. So there's an earthiness, a practicality. Virgo gives service in practical ways to others. They um, like to bring order to chaos and they can be very methodical with that. Virgo also rules our daily routines like the ways that we look after our health and our bodies on a day-to-day -day basis and even our daily work habits. And Virgo is ruled by the mutable mode. And that means that Virgo can be a bit wavery, a little bit here and there, which means there's a curiosity and a willingness to try different things and create systems that will um, bring about solutions to messy situations. Virgo will tinker with things and make them better. Virgo aims for perfection. And the shadow side of Virgo is when Virgo tries too hard to reach perfection and gets lost in the details, fiddling with this and fiddling with that, so that you can't see the forest for the trees. If you're in that mode, it's a good idea to step back into nature, go for a walk in the bush, remember the big picture, do something that gets you out of your head, back into heart space. But Despite the shadow side of Virgo, we need Virgo people. Every sign has a shadow side and a light side, and we aim for the highest expression of the energy. When it's a new moon time, a few days before and after, if you can, take some time out to rest and relax, even sleep more than usual. Don't start anything new at that point. Just keep things going as you have to. If you can take some time out, that's good. Here are some questions for you to ponder upon in that quiet time. So you might like to meditate on these thoughts or just think about them while you're doing the dishes or journal. The first thing to think about, how can I give service? How can I best give service using my talents and my skills? How do I want to give service? What is calling me? Second question to think about. What can I tidy or organise? Maybe a cupboard or a drawer in your home. Try to get clean and pure and organised. Don't take on too much though. Something else to think about. What daily routines will support me? How can I tinker with my daily routines to make them better and serve me better? And lastly, how can I be kinder to myself and others and less critical, less worried about details that are not important in the big picture? So there are some ideas to ponder upon. Once you see the crescent moon in the sky a few days later, then you can start some new projects, plant some seeds either figuratively or literally because it is springtime. 
So here are some dates coming up on the astrological calendar this month. New Moon in Virgo on the 7th and then on the 11th on Saturday I will be holding some New Moon sessions. Two weeks after the New Moon we've got the Full Moon in Pisces which will be a compassionate and healing moon. And then two days after that we've got this kind of magical time of year where the day and night are of equal length, spring equinox. And a few days after that, we have Mercury, planet of communication, discernment and analysis going backwards, which might mean we're not quite as sharp up there. I might talk about that at another time. I plan to run some sessions to mark the new moon a few days later on Saturday the 11th. It will depend on the alert levels, of course. So if we are able to meet face to face, we'll be meeting at Cultural Conversations in Morrison Square, which we're lucky to use that venue. The first session is to acknowledge a new moon, talk a little bit about the astrology, astrology and then use discussion and some guided visualization to set intentions for the month. So that session will run online if we're not meeting face to face. And the second session, straight afterwards, we gather and sing some songs according to the energy of the new moon. And that's been beautiful singing with a few different languages so far. However, if we're only meeting online, we won't run that session. So I will put all the details for this in the description box below this video. So there we go, Fano. Wishing you a beautiful new moon in Virgo. Hey, Konara.